professionals who said they were professionals. Anyways, like I said, you gotta figure your own shit out and do it with your own conclusions. Like I've always been saying since last year. Did this motherfucker just call me a hoe? I don't know. It's fucking dumb. Like, it's dumb. That's it. And if you're gonna be offended over something in life, you're gonna be you're gonna make it nowhere in life. You are going to make it nowhere and be a little life piece of shit loser. I have names for babies. If I ever adopt one day, which I don't think I will, because I don't want kids. But like, if I ever had to, like, I have two names. Should I just say them? Should I say them? Should I? No one ever watches the videos. I don't get a damn penny. So might as well because it needed to be said, and someone had to say it, and that someone was my ass, like always. Okay, hey guys, it's my Alex, and I currently have some vegan chips here right now. I actually want to get these off the order or off the website. I usually would order my like natural stuff through. Um, the ingredients are a little bit questionable on this, but I think there's a couple times where I let things slide in my life. I actually have my tea um, right here. It's really hot because I just obviously got it, but um. I want to review these. I have a good feeling about them. I don't know why, but I do. Um, color's a little fucking weird. They're okay. I have Siete ones, and those, in my opinion, are better. Question mark? These just, like, gave me Doritos vibes, and obviously Doritos are terrible for you, for many of reasons. So I was like, and I'm trying to go vegan anyways. Basically, like, 70%, I feel like 80% there. I have, like, I don't think there's any, like, perfect vegan but, like, can I not... I'm still gonna call myself a vegan, even though I have pizza once in a while, okay? Like, even though I shouldn't, because it's no good for you. But, like, I do. It just is what it is, okay? I don't think any, like... Cause especially because I'm not, like, so used to it. I think once I get used to, like, the whole vegan lifestyle, then, like, yeah, I probably will never touch pizza again. But, like, I don't really eat chicken. I don't really drink milk. I got my almond and coconut milk, okay? I got vegan alternatives to chicken, which are delicious, um, I'm not gonna say it there, you can figure that out your damn self. But, but, I don't know, like, they're okay. Of course, the one time I'm actually making a video and drinking tea, it's not something tea related. That's hot though, but it's good when it's hot. But the Siete ones are so much better in my opinion. I do have them though. <coughs> Ben hangers. Spoiler alert for my room tour, by the way. And I got my food bin. Um, oh, you can't see much good. Okay, um, yeah, here's my Siete chips. Um, they're both natural flavored. Um, I feel like these are more natural though. Anyways, so maybe it's a good thing that they're kind of sort of better. Um, but yeah, like... Yeah. There's definitely a difference. You're probably like, why the fuck is this person having tea with, um, with, um, chips? But it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, like, I think I like these better. The Seattle ones. So... Yeah. These are much better. Yeah. I think it's the avocado oil that I can taste. Um, my mom's trying to go gluten free or like remove gluten from her diet. So she could, for health reasons, I'm not gonna say why in here, but I know why, but I'm not gonna say why. So, mother, if you're watching this, you could eat these. Yeah. I think these taste way better. 
to be honest. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. But see, I do. You're doing it right. Because it's way more cleaner and ingredients, too. I. There's Casanova flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, nutritional use, tomato powder. How is it vegan then? Oh, because tomatoes are vegan. Sorry, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Okay, I'm retarded. Um, chia seed. Sea salt. I can taste the sea salt a little bit too. Citric acid. Garlic powder. Jalapeno powder. Onion powder. I can taste the onion powder too. And Serena powder. Contains coconuts. Which I like coconut milk. If you know this. If you watch my channel. Right. I don't know if I've said that, but... Yeah, like, these are really good. I think we did get two bags of these, too. Yeah. So, anyways. I guess we can make this into a list video. Um. It's really no joke. Like, 1 o'clock in the morning. I actually noticed, like, Bob was earlier than that. Um. But, like, guys, we need, like, normalcy in this world. And, like, I don't think we're seeing an insight anytime soon. Like, can we stop pussyfooting around as if, like, the coronavirus is just going to disappear out of thin air? Can we stop pretending that this whole virus and pandemic was made up because of the fucking election? Can we, like, stop thinking those thoughts, please? Like, there's something wrong with your brain if you think because of the um, coronavirus is, I think, is because of the election. Like, if you actually think that a lot of lives were lost because of an election, there's something wrong with your brain. Like, no. The pandemic is real, okay? Like, people are actually getting killed from this. I'm sure the numbers are inflated, but how do we know the cancer numbers are not inflated? How do we know the car accident numbers aren't inflated? We don't know, okay? We're not fucking professionals. I don't even trust the professionals who say they're professionals. Anyways, like I said, you gotta figure your own shit out and do it with your own conclusions. Like, I always been saying since last year but it's true you do you can't follow the leader you have to make up your own damn conclusions or else you're just gonna be following everybody forever and ever amen because you're you're so brainwashed to even come up with your own shit and it's sad and really really pathetic to be honest this kind of reminds me of alex i don't know she's just <laughs> i love alex though. um so i kind of want to do a room tour but I don't know how I'm going to do it, okay? Um, I'm going in between houses for family reasons right now. I'm not going to say why. Because it's none of your fucking business. But, like, I okay. Actually, I am I am over everyone's shit on every social media platform. Like, trying to cancel everybody. Like, just stop right now and realize this is all temporary. If your, like, perspective doesn't shift for me just saying that statement alone, you are too brainwashed and too fucked up by society. And your standards are probably way too high. If you don't like someone's, the way someone speaks to you, simply block them. And, like, you don't have to put them on fucking blast. It's so ridiculous people do that. Like, they're just gonna be, the person on the other receiving end is gonna be like, girl, I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna continue to do my life and do what the fuck I gotta do. So just don't waste your time. Like, move on, block them, like, ignore them, mute them. So they think, so actually, I mute because a lot of them, like, they think I sit, like, they're, they don't, they look retarded because they're just arguing with nothing. Literally arguing against the wall, like, nothing. They're getting no response. They're getting no, like, they're not getting reaction out of you, right? So then they eventually stop and leave it alone. I'm like, with the labels and all that, like, people need to be vibe checked. They need to be mental health checked. Like, they just need to stop because it's irritating. Um, of course my phone is fucking, ugh, bad. Um, so, uh, to be honest, I'm in the middle of writing my album Fever Dream. Well, not, I'm in the middle of it. I think it's actually completed. But, like, I have no motivation whatsoever Did this motherfucker just call me a hoe? Um, the fuck, you know? Was this like, um, 
like odd, like an auto message. It's fucking cringy. People do that. It's so fucking cringy. Just stop right now. Um, I'm just like over. I I don't belong in this world. Like I don't belong like in my state where I live. I don't belong like in any state. I just need to do my damn self and like be the left the fuck alone with no one telling me what to do. No one like. This isn't like communist China, guys. Like, realize that for a second here. By the way, you probably are all thinking I'm really conservative, but I'm actually really not. Like, I not even I don't even consider myself to be like assigned to a political party. I just think that like people should just do what the fuck they want to do. As long as it doesn't hurt or harm other people and it's consensual and legal, like I always say. And if you don't like the way someone talks to you, block them, you know, kick them out of your life. Like, don't like Put them on blast and like, unless they like fucking kill someone, you know, like, I don't get why like everyone is so offended. You're going to make it nowhere in life if you are offended over something. Like, you're going to make it nowhere in life. Like, you can't be a little pathetic piece of shit all your life. You have to grow some thick skin. And like, this is all temporary, y'all. Like, none of it's going to matter when we're not here anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know. But it's just stupid. I just can't. Like, people, like, cannot be free thinkers. They can't think for themselves. They have to go by what the media says, and they have to agree with what their friends say because they're, like, so, like, brainwashed. And I blame society and schools and teachers because of the way society is. Like, like everyone's meant to, like, we were all told to tattle, like, on people not deal with our fucking stuff. You know what they should tell you instead of being PC about it and, like, tell every and say to tell on everyone? They should deal with it your fucking self. Because your friends, yes, people come and go. You, your family, even family comes and go. But it's, like, they should tell you, teach you how to deal with it yourself, your damn self, instead of relying on other people. Because that therapist or that you're seeing might, right now may be the worst person in the world. Or that you saw five months ago may be the worst person in the world now. Or why would, why, like, they just seriously need to, like, teach you how to deal with your damn self. Like, seriously. Seriously. And this is coming from someone who has been through some traumatic shit in my life. I'm not going to go over it on here. But, like... I talk myself through it, okay? Like, I didn't rely on anybody else but my damn self, okay? Like, I talk myself through it, okay? That's it. Like, I don't know. It's fucking dumb. Like, it's dumb. That's it. <laughs> Anyways. So back to Fever Dream, slash so relying. Um, no one actually listens to my music because I don't get a fucking penny for it, just like YouTube. <laughs> I'm basically doing free labor for everybody. I'm doing charity for YouTube. Um, I'm joking, guys. I get paid for you or for my music. I'm joking, by the way. Not a lot at all, but I get paid more for reselling <laughs> than music. But anyways. I, like, know no one actually listens to it based off the money I get from my my music. But I like to do it, so I'm going to still do it. Like, okay, okay. Like, and if you don't want to listen to it, you don't have to fucking comment about it because I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Do not waste your time. Do not come to fucking thesis. Do not DM me. Do not Snapchat me while you think my music is bad. I don't care what you say, man, because you're, you're ugly, fat, or, like, something happened in your, like, developmental stages where you were, like, dropped or something, and, like, you were, like, told to, like, sprat your, like, business or, like, opinions everywhere, where no one asked for them. Like, unsolicited advice. I do not want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Like, go on your own page and talk about your own issues and talk about your opinions on your own issues and with your own life. Do not talk about me or what I'm doing with my life, okay? Like, simple as that. This goes for everyone in the whole fucking world, because just shut up. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm like, I don't care. Like, do not get it. Like, People always told me my freshman year that I can't sing or this or that. But I kept writing music. Like, I did the opposite of it. They're like, you, you can't sing, blah, blah, blah. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. Like, good, good, good. Thank, thank you for giving me pocket change. Because that's ultimately what's going to turn out to. And when I'm a millionaire one day, you're all going to come back. Even though they never come back now because they think I'm irrelevant. Or a flopper. They just don't care about me. Newsflash, I don't care about y'all either. That's why I have no friends. I mean, I have friends, but not, not really. I mean, not really. I mean, I do, but not really. They're all busy with their boyfriends or whatever, which could ever be me. Imagine if I actually had friends and I had, like, a million, like, a party and, like, a fucking pandemic of retard, I know. But, like, imagine if I had friends and I had people over. Like, I would, like, uh, I would vibe check the fuck out of everybody. Like, I just can't anymore. Like, I can't. Like, I have friends, but, like, 
I just need to be alone in my own misery. Like, I love my own company. I love, like, being by myself. I love it. Yeah, it gets lonely as fuck sometimes, of course. But, like, that's why I go on YouTube. You know, like, that's why I listen to music. Like, that's why I have Taylor. Like, yeah, obviously. It gets lonely and boring, of course. But, like, I, part of me wants to be in a relationship. And part of me, like, doesn't want to. Um, what the fuck is everyone talking about? Oh, I saw, people need to learn how to unfucking tag people on Twitter. It's so fucking annoying. Like the conversation ended hours ago, and they're still going. Well, not not, not in an argument, but it's just like Taylor related stuff. Like, girl, untag me. <laughs> the conversation ended literally hours ago. But anyway, so um, what was I talking about? I don't even fucking remember. Oh, yeah, like, me being single and shit. Like, I, like, like, I get lonely as fuck sometimes. Like, I am get like, I do get lonely as fuck sometimes. But, like, there's the other part of me that, like, doesn't give a shit. And, like, I just can't conform to anybody. I can't be told what to do. I have to want to do it, like I always fucking say. But it's true. Like, I can't be told what to do. I have to want to do it by damn self. And if you're going to tell me what to do something, I'm going to do the opposite. Like, don't tell me what to fucking do. Ever. Like, ever. And if you don't like the way I manage or, ma manage or handle things, you can block me and exit your way out of my fucking life because I don't give a shit anymore. Like, I just don't care. Like, I'm a free thinker. I can think for my damn self. I don't have to think of what the media is feeding me or what my friends are telling me. I look at my own damn research and figure out my own damn shit. That's why I'm trying to go vegan because I did my own damn research and I figured it out my damn self. And I made a conscious, um, you know, decision, probably kind of, sort of, in the moment to do it for my own health and for my own well-being. Like, I don't care what you do. You shouldn't go fuck what I do. Simple as that. Like, I don't know. But no one gets it. No one gets it. Just me. I mean, that's all that matters. Because, like, I get it. Like, I get my vibe. I don't really care if anyone else does or doesn't. Because I get it. That's all that matters. So, yeah. Because at the end of the day, all you got is your damn self. So, as long as you're happy, as long as you check vibe check yourself, and you're happy with your vibe, you shouldn't give a fuck. And no one else's opinion should matter about your own. Like, it's 2021, guys. Imagine actually giving a fuck what someone else says in a whole other fucking human body says about you and your own body. Like, imagine actually caring. It's kind of sad and pathetic, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. So, I know the girl that commented on my um, YouTube video saying she wanted a ranking Taylor like Swift merch, I will do that. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I want to do. Like, I kind of want to do it because I've seen no one else do it, so it's like my fucking idea. But like, what the fuck would I title it? <laughs> I know it's like simple, but like, no one looks up like ranking Taylor Swift merch, you know? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm gonna end this video here. Maybe I should film like this. Do you guys like when I film like this? I think it kind of looks cool. I think it's a vibe. Um. So I'm gonna end it here. Um. Because I need to take a shot. So peace out, Girl Scout. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, by the way, bitches. Why can't I gain a damn motherfucking follower? Like, why? Is it because I'm not PC? I don't conform to no one. Because I think. Like, YouTube has something against me. Even Instagram, because I can't not gain a fucking follower. They all just say the same or they decrease. It's fucking aggravating, man. Like, why the fuck do I even do this, dude? I'm done being PC about it. I'm done being friendly about it. Like, why the fuck do I get a fucking follower when I, like, continuously to say, just shout me out on your, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook post. I don't know. Guys, it's a lot of hours later. But, like, I still want to bitch about shit. So, here we go, I guess. Um, apparently, I wasn't done bitching. <laughs> Y'all know I always have a lot of shit to say. Um, that was more over here. Yeah, it was more over here. So, I actually do have it in my notes of what I want to yell about. Um, so, the first thing is, is, like, everyone can't, like, make their own opinions and, like, they're just, like, too busy, like, piggybacking off of other people, which is actually, like, really sad if you think about it. Yes, I'm thinking my socks. But, like, and for all the fucking gross people and, like, two, like, feet, I ain't showing y'all shit, okay? But, um, anyways, um, 
guys, like, make up your own damn opinions. Stop piggybacking off other people. Stop going by what the media says, what Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat says. You have to do your own damn research and figure it out your damn self. Come up with your own conclusions of why you want to do X, Y, and Z or why you believe X, Y, and Z. Because chances are that person is just has a bias towards someone or something and they're going to put it negatively. Chances are. So, like, obviously you're going to agree with them if you don't like that or if you're friends with that one person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you just need to come up with your own damn shit and, like, figure it out your damn self. Like, it's really not that hard, people. It's also, like, weird to share the same opinion as, like, your friend, like, in a way. Because, like, I think opposites attract, but that's just me. You can believe whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a fuck. But, like, you have to, like find some common ground to a certain extent you can obviously i mean maybe you can dis disagree on everything and still be friends i don't know maybe it's why i have no friends or like no guys hitting me up because i don't know like i just do me and that's it um but like guys like no guys hit me up anymore like they used to <laughs> Like, they don't know more. I don't know. Like, I don't... Like, I care because, like, it gets lonely as fuck sometimes. Yes, I got the shower. That's my hair is fucking with, so shut up. Um, that I have to defend myself for every little thing now because everyone's going to attack me or, like, they're going to nitpick it. Like, and so I have to say it myself because I'm the one that knows the truth. So I'm going to say it because I'm the one that knows the truth. Like, I just said. But, um, like, it gets lonely. I don't want to try Tinder because all I want to fucking... I don't do that shit. Or all I want is sex and I'm a virgin. <laughs> like, yes, I am. So, like, what the fuck do you do? What do you do? I don't know. Like, honestly, though, like, if I have to be alone my whole life, like, maybe it's just best, better off that way for me. Like, I just need to be in my own misery. I love my own company. Some days, like, it's only, I want to be the person that has, like, ten cats. Like, no joke. I love cats, and I love dogs. My cousin's dog and my brother's dog. But, like, I don't know, like, Everyone, like, just annoys me too much, too. So, well, not everybody, but, like, people who I highly despise do that. And, like, I just can't stomach it anymore. Like, I just think, I have the philosophy, like, I always fucking say time and time again in videos, that everyone should just do what they want as long as it doesn't hurt, harm, and it's consensual and legal. Like, harm, or hurt, or harm anyone. Why is that so difficult? And if you don't like what that person is saying or doing... Kindly leave. Like, why do you have to write, like, a quote-unquote, like, hate thread about them, about someone, when you just have different opinions and they're never, the other person is never going to change their opinions, so you look just dumb. Because you're, you're doing that as, because it's a difference in opinions, not because you actually have, like, something to, like, what's the word, like, put out about them, you know? It's like they fucking killed someone, you know? Like, you're just, it's just a different opinion. And, like, even over text, like, you never know... If someone's trolling, you never know if they're, like, having someone else say it for them. You never know. You never know these things. So, what someone could have said it on a text literally could have been a whole other person. You would have no idea. You would think it's just person A, but it could literally have been person B, you know? Like, you just look dumb. Like, you seriously look so dumb. Like, I, I can't anymore. Like, if someone's... If if I hear someone say something I don't like, which never happens, because I'm the, probably the least offended person ever next to Alex... I just, like, block them or I mute them. <laughs> so, like, that's literally it. Like, I don't fucking, you know, like, post about them. I don't blast them. It's so dumb people. They're, like, exposing threads and shit like that. And they're, like, exposing people on YouTube. It's so stupid and just so fucking waste. Like, it's such a waste. Like, none of this is all gonna matter when we're all dead and gone. So why does it matter here and now? I never, I don't get it. Like, I seriously don't get it. And, like, all these people, like, that ex are exposing people on YouTube and Twitter and, you know, Snapchat, etc. Cetera, et cetera, they have... They, like, it takes you to tangle all the time, okay? Like, if you're arguing over it, chances are you have a big part in that, too. You're just never going to admit it. You're only going to show their bad part and their bad signs. You know, you're never going to show what you said wrong, you know? Like, I just don't get it. Like, just block them. Like, that's why the block button exists. So you can, like, so they won't have contact with you anymore. Like, and if you're that sensitive or shell, get off the internet. Like, the internet is not a place for you, clearly. Like, I don't know, but it's, like, these people are, were, like, dropped as babies and, like, total, like, kettle still on everyone for every little thing. And it's really, really sad and pathetic, to be honest with you. Like, what happened to freedom of speech? I believe that doesn't apply to everybody because people seem to forget that it's our First Amendment. And, like, the thing is, is, like, I'm on my own page coming up with my own opinions. I'm not, like, going on other people spewing my hatred or spewing my shit or spewing my opinions on their page. No, it's stupid. It looks stupid. You just look dumb. 
I, I don't know. I just, I don't get society. I seriously don't get society at all. Like, everyone is so, like, follow the leader, follow the leader. Don't say anything. You're going to piss people off. Like, they'll fucking bust your doors down trying to end your life and your company as HRH collects and stuff. It's true. Or Alex says stuff. It's true. Like, you say wrong, wrong thing once and you're done forever. It's, like, really, really, like, sad and pathetic. And it teaches people, like, cancel culture, in my opinion. It teaches people that you can't grow or change or develop. Like, no one's perfect. We're all ever-changing. Like, no, like, you don't stop growing up. Everyone is growing up their whole life, right? Like, because you're always going to make mistakes. No one is perfect. Like, it's so cliche and PC and cringy, but it's true. Like, it's it's just true. Like, even your beliefs change. You know, something that you thought five years ago, you probably don't think today, or, like, TV shows you used to watch five, ten years ago, you probably don't watch today unless it's, like, nostalgia or something. Like, seriously, think of it that way, you know? Like, but people, it's, I don't know. Like, people don't see it like that. They just think, you say one wrong thing once and you're done. And you're done. And you're done. Like, unless someone is racist, sexist, homophobic, like, leave people be. You know, like, l let them be. And if you don't like the way they speak to you or what they're saying or that you don't agree with their opinions, block them. Like, wow. Like, like, it's, I don't know. I just, like, why do you have to continue on the conversation? It's almost like you want it. Like, say something about them because you're, like, dragging it on and on when you could just block them to begin with, you know? It makes sense to me. I don't know. But, I don't know. People don't think the way I think. And I know damn well. Like, they don't. And it's really, really sad. It's actually really sad. Because, um, no, everyone's sheep. Everyone is a sheep as fuck. They can't come up with their own conclusions. Um, and I don't give a fuck what you do. You can do you. I can do me. And you can shut up. No one has a fucking gun to your head to do anything in this world. It's like fucking free country. Fuck you, okay? How I came off as being, and I p apparently did, because unless everyone just like started reading comments and agreeing, which is probably true, because everyone out there is fucking sheep as fuck, okay? Everyone has to agree with what the fucking, the media says, like, it's just so, it's so, like, no one can make their own opinion. I have never, I'm gonna say one more thing. I don't have to say it anyone's fucking lane, my own goddamn lane, okay? Sorry, you're too, too, I'm sorry, you're so easily, like, offended. It's like, you have nothing better to do than to, like, sit around and think of things to be offended about because you're so spoiled. You're so, like, we are so affluent. We're so lucky as, like, Western world people that, like, we look for problems. It's so fucking irritating. Mind your own goddamn business. Leave me the fuck alone. It's, it's criticism. And I'm, and I don't, you're not allowed to criticize me. I'm not asking. If I said, can you give me your opinion on X, Y, and Z? And then you said, you or yuck, that's fine. But I wasn't asking for your fucking criticism. It's fucking rude. You are, you are retarded. There's, if you do, if you act like that, there is something wrong with you. I'm talking about the retarded people and I'm allowed to say it. Stop. I'm allowed to say it. Um, it's a word. And I'm not making fun of a disabled person again. I will repeat myself. So shut up. This is the reason why this society is so fucked up and so like weak and so pathetic. And like anything, if I say the word retarded, it triggers you so much that you have to write a thesis. This is the pit issue. It's like we have, we have been so like coddled and like babied and like anything like anything that you find offensive you just like go and like tattletale or something and like and and then you know what i mean it's like it's so pathetic like how pathetic are we stop it man fucking stop it because they go by off what the media says or what instagram says or what twitter says or facebook especially facebook or like you know snapchat whatever the case is or even youtube like people are always changing okay you're not the same person you were five minutes ago let alone five years ago you know two years ago one year ago five months ago whatever even you know but it's like everyone has to be on and perfect all the time and if you don't then you're the one out you're the bad guy you're the odd one out you're the anomaly and it's like really really sad to be honest like really really sad. i used to do exposing threads like back in the day like and this was like when i was in high school and shit like three four years ago but it's such a waste now. I think I delete most of them, if not all of them, because it's just so stupid. Like, the other person is probably never going to change. So why am I putting my energy into them when they don't even care? When they're not even bothered? Why am I wasting my damn time? I look stupid. Like, do people not see that? How stupid they look? When they try to, like, expose people? Like, people call, like, HRH collects and a racist, a sexist, and a homophobic. We know our beliefs. We know where we stand. Like, we know we're not those things. So, like, how can I be homophobic and gay? You dumb fuck. Like, you dumb fuck.
also stop speculating on shit. Unless you know the other person's intent, you know the other person's tone of text. Do not speak about them. Do not say anything about them because you don't know what they said or if it was another person behind the screen when you thought it was person A when it could have been person B. You don't know, okay? So just stop. You look retarded. Also, apparently I'm ableist now for saying the word retarded when I actually have a disability, which makes me a, gives me a pass to say the word retarded. And I am, if anyone should be offended by that word, it should be me. And I'm not. So shut up. I think I've been called homophobic because I say the word faggot and shit. When I'm gay and I can say it because it's my word to say. Like, oh my gosh. Like I always say time and time again, if you're going to be offended over something in life, you're going to be, you're going to make it nowhere in life. You are going to make it nowhere and be a little life piece of shit loser. Like I promise you being offended even over the simplest of things, just like quit now, quit your job, quit everything now because you're going to make it nowhere. Like seriously, you're going to make it nowhere in life. Um, and I don't know. It's really sad. There's a lot of shit. Like I actually want to talk, so I want to start a page, or so I would like, oh, people to join my Patreon, because I would, like, actually drag this shit out, like, more and more, I don't know, I kind of want to start a podcast, too, should I do that, guys? Um, and, yeah, I don't know, like, I have so much shit to, like, speak with you guys about, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm going through, like, my one-liners, my, my lyrics. Guys, okay, oh, girl, I have names for babies. If I ever adopt one day, which I don't think I will, because I don't want kids, but, like, if I ever had to, like, I have two names. Should I just say them? Should I say them? Should I? No one ever watches the videos. I don't get a damn penny, so might as well. So, I have Lavender Rose and Coral Rose. Like, I just love the color coral, and I think it's really pretty. And, like, Rose, a flower, obviously. Rose is, like, a common theme, but I think it's really, really pretty and actually really common, but I don't really hear Lavender or Coral a lot. Um, I don't know. For girls, obviously, that's my girl names. Um, I think they're really pretty, though, aren't they? I know. Or, like, even, like, Violetta or, like, Scarlatta or what's... I had one in here that was really pretty. Um, of course, I can't fucking find it, though, but it's really pretty. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Of course. It's so quiet in this damn house. There's no one here during the day except my brother and my dad. Because my dad works from home now, which is kind of annoying. Because look how good Taylor looks, my Um. Um. What's it called? <laughs> I wish I had shit, like, this long to complain about. But, like, even though no one watches this, like, this far, I know that. Because I watched, like, two fucking minutes of my damn YouTube video. Like, why? What's the point? I don't know. I don't get it. Um. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I think I've said everything you need to say, though. At least for this list video. I just had a lot of shit to bitch about because it needed to be said and someone had to say it. And that someone was my ass, like always. Because everyone else is thinking what I'm saying. They're just too afraid to say it. Well, at least I hope they are. I don't know. <laughs> With this world and this way, this society is probably not. But because we're afraid of our little thing. Um, I was like, is my mask over there? But it is. Guys, look, is this mask cute? Like, I don't know. Is this cute, guys? Um, see, like, are they supposed to be like this? Like, is this, like, an opening? I don't know why it's like that. I hope I didn't do that when I washed it. Um, but it's cute. And I, it's coral. Go figure. It looks like a orangey, like, kind of really, really light orange, but it looks coral to me. That's why I bought it. Um, and, like, it's like a white tie-dye with coral. I don't know. I think it's pretty and unique. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm in this here. I don't know what else I have to say. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media. Peace out, girls.